Happy Mother's Day! This is a quick five minute fat blast for all of my hot mamas out there. I want to wish all of you a very, very happy Mother's Day. Make sure to do this workout. You can even have your kids join you. And again, happy Mother's Day. So, we've all been there when you have the very best intentions to work out and something happened to change your plans. So, in your case, it might be that one of the kids is homesick from school. Maybe your childcare canceled. You really, really wanted to get dressed and go to your favorite cycling studio to take class but you just can't make it there. Your schedule will change and you think, oh, I guess I have to skip my workout. Well, not the case. So I created this really quick and really great five minute cycle just for you. You're gonna do each of these moves for one minute each. So no reason to skip your workout. And the best part is you need absolutely nothing to do this workout. All you need is a pair of sneakers. You don't need a mat, you don't need any weights. I am using a little interval timer here just to keep track of time. And if you've got an app on your phone, you can use that or you can just look at the clock. Okay, so let's work out. Okay, so let's get started. So as I mentioned, if you're using your interval timer, just set it for five cycles of one minute each. Super, super easy. So we are going to start with some tricep jumping jacks. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. Your arms are gonna go in and out like this. So regular jumping jacks. But what makes this great is that you're actually pressing behind you. And as you do this movement with your arms, you're gonna feel the back of those arms working. So no jiggly arms, no back wings, none of those things that we like to call them, okay? Just tight tone, sexy arms, good. So if you're not warmed up, certainly you can do a little warm up here, or you can use this as a bit of a warm up here, okay? Just go easy. Good. Keep on going here, your abs are in tight, your shoulders are down your back, really press those arms back, feel those arms working for you. Good, feel that heart rate starting to come up right away. Good, keep breathing here. Just a few more seconds like this. Okay, so next one we're going to go into a little squat, adding a twist. So we're working our legs and our butt and also our abdominals. So squat down here, keeping your chest up, and bring that knee in and twist down, squeeze. Now if you wanted to do this with weights, absolutely you could bring those weights in, all right? Again, if you're not warmed up, start slower here. But if you are warmed up, you can pick up that pace. None of the movements should be flailing or crazy. We want to keep everything controlled so that you're safe here, okay? Really draw in the belly. Very, very important here. Good. And squeeze. And squeeze. That's it. Really lift that knee up. Pull it in. And in. In. Feel those abs working, those obliques. Whew. A few more seconds like this. Lift that knee up, get all the way up, keep your chest lifted. Belly is really tight here. Good, okay, so next one, we're gonna do little toe touches. This is great because it's really going to work with some people call the mummy tummy, those lower abdominals. So start with your arms up over your head, lift the leg up, touch your toes. Now, don't worry if you're like, I am not flexible at all. You could certainly bend the knee and even just do this. The point is, when we lift that leg here, you activate those lower abdominals, okay? So you should really feel this up and up. I love doing interval workouts also because you, you know, we can do anything for a minute, right? They're fun, they're exciting, and studies show that you actually are burning so many more calories when you're doing interval training like this, long after your workout's even over. So. It's a very good thing here. And squeeze, really pull in your abs, squeeze, and squeeze. That's it. All right, so next one, we're gonna go into some butt kicker runs. So just kick your booty, bring your arms up here, just like I'm doing here, and that's it. Simple, simple, this is just straight up cardio. Good. So now, you wanna go light and easy on your feet here, no crashing, just keep it moving here. All of this also is a great thing for your kids to get involved with, right? Stay healthy as a family, so everyone likes to sparkle, right? So work out with your kids, have fun. They think they're playing, we're getting fit, right? Keep going here. 
Yeah, we're about a little more than halfway through. Good. So as soon as that foot goes down, it lifts right back up. So you want to keep the pace here. Keep breathing. That's it. All right, good. So the last one here, externally rotate like a belly dance and we're going to turn sideways. You're going to go into a little squat. Let your booty stick out here. Then come up and as you do, kick forward, out, kick forward, out. So really important, make sure you're going into that external rotation, okay? Kick forward, out. This is so, such a good exercise for you. Here's why. You're going to really keep your butt up where it's supposed to be, not down by your ankles, right? You're working your inner thighs by nature, getting into this big plie, this big squat, okay? You're working your quads, you're working your balance, you're working your abdominals, so talk about bang for the luck here, right? For a busy mom, this movement is tailor-made for you. You hear how out of breath I am? It's working. Breathe. That's it. Kick it. And kick a few more seconds. Woo!